what I felt when I first actually experienced cloud gaming. I kind of got that similar feeling as when I first saw a drone. That you immediately recognise, hey, that thing's going to change, change the game. Cloud computing is basically a whole lot of processing power in the cloud. So it's in a data center. You know, normally when you've got a computer and you want to give that computer a task, you've only got access to the one like processor. What cloud computing is, someone will hyperscale that capacity. So they'll build 100, 10, 50, 1,000 computers that can all be fed a massive amount of computational tasks. And then this computer will then run that computational task at scale. Like even like Netflix, Spotify, like those are using an element of cloud computing, you know, storage facilities grow and, and storage grows within the cloud. These things start to grow and live inside the cloud. So cloud gaming is the same similar sort of supercomputer that's more focused around graphics processing. And then you access that computer via a subscription. It just improves like gaming as a whole because it makes it more available. There were a lot of titles and a lot of games that people couldn't access because they didn't have a, a gaming machine or a rig that was capable of playing it or they didn't have a console. So what GeForce Now does, it connects you to your existing game library. So it'll, it'll link you to your Steam library, your Epic Game Store, your Ubisoft Store. What I felt when I first actually like played with GeForce Now and, and experienced cloud gaming, it kind of got that similar feeling as when I first saw a drone or first saw a smartphone. You immediately recognise, hey, that thing's going to change, change the game.